what is up everybody welcome back to Mount Mograph as always my name's Matt this is Mount Mograph and we're gonna do a video today uh, today's video is called summit 73 three minute lumen mat tricks or sneaky tricks I'm not sure the title is still to be decided but we're gonna go over an awesome technique to composite other footage on top of your footage uh, without getting what you don't want so what I mean by that is uh, well, when you have this really cool stock footage, so I actually found this dude um, on Vimeo. His name's Sinistock by Mitch Martinez. Link in the description below. Uh, but he has a ton of free footage uh, that you can use. And so I found all this stuff, and he's got like tons of fire effects and smoke effects. Um, I mean, honestly, there's thousands of videos, so dig on through there and find some cool stuff. Uh, but when you get all this footage, it's on black. So that's not exactly the easiest thing to composite on your screen. But I'm going to show you an awesome technique to take this kind of footage and put it onto your video without losing quality. So uh, let's just pretend that we want to put uh, one of those stock footage thingies, um, which is totally free. So I don't know if I could still call it stock, but uh, I guess I could. Uh, but So let's put this fire on um, this video here. So there we go. We have fire, and we want to put it on the screen. So typically, people will go through um, the modes here. Here, like multiply and all that and a quick little tip is you can actually do shift and do plus um, to toggle through the modes and as you can see some of them look okay um, like this lighten effect looks pretty decent uh, but with some kinds of footage you can get effects you don't want and like it might tint the background um, colors you don't want and you don't have too much control because these are like you know default modes so you can't tweak it too much farther than cycling through them so what you can do is this really awesome trick with luma mat so what I'm gonna do is duplicate this layer and I'll just uh, kind of focus in on these real quick so uh, first what we're gonna do is grab something called tint and we're gonna throw this onto our footage and what this does is make it black and white so with luma mats uh, it's the difference between black and white and you can use the white portion to cut out other footage um, That's what the matte portion means. So what you can do with this is also drop um, Contrast on here. So brightness and contrast drop it on there And this is like our little rig we can use so as you can see I can play with the contrast and I can also play with the brightness to really nail um, like what kind of uh, white values I want to cut out from the footage below so all you have to do is grab the previous footage and go to your mode Oh, sorry your track map and switch it to luma mat and all of a sudden there's our footage so since the background is um, black in my composition command K to C uh, we actually don't see a difference between the original footage and when I re um, go back and put it onto the picture here you're gonna see that it's cut it out um, so this looks kinda similar to the lighten effect um, the big difference is that now I have tons of control um, on how I can like like what part of the footage I want playing with brightness and contrast so I can maybe like duplicate this and really start to pull stuff out uh, but it's a really flexible technique so then from there I can do shift command C to pre-compose it and call this like fire mat or something uh, and there you can grab a couple different matte effects. Um, it's really your preference. You can use like the simple choker, you can use a matte choker, and this can even further clean up those edges. So you can play around with the settings and uh, tweak all kinds of stuff, get softer edges. And then from there, you can also add stuff like glow. So, uh, well, this was just like the worst uh, couple like default settings to put on here. But um, unlike when you use the modes here, you're going to be able to literally have this cut out. Um, it's not just going to be sitting over your video. So then you have a really flexible ability to uh, stack effects on top of this cool footage. So uh, let's actually do one more example with the smoke. It's uh, literally the same step, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I'll throw some smoke in here, put my background picture there make it the size of my composition so you can do shift um, option command H to set it to the width of the composition or shift option command G to set it to the height so I'll set it to the width um, it's sitting back there as you can see so all we'll have to do is duplicate our smoke and the smoke is a little bit blue so we'll once again use that tint just to make sure everything is just black and white values only and then throw your contrast on there real quick um, but this is like really easy to do and it's it's pretty fun and as you can see there's tons of flexibility So if I really wanted to just get a couple values or really thin little bits um, I can go over here and set it to luma mat and all of a sudden I've pulled out that super wispy smoke and Simply by deleting some brightness and contrast. I can get uh, different amounts here and there So that's pretty sweet and then from there I can go ahead and pre-compose it like I said and we can throw like you know glow on there We can throw that uh, simple choker if you don't want to use one of the matte chokers um, and 
you know, you can just really nail your effect uh, super, super easy. So I guess this video was super quick, but that's an awesome technique for just compositing uh, stock footage or free footage onto your videos if it has a black background or really any solid color background of just about any kind. So that's pretty cool. And once again, this was uh, some Cine stock footage by Mitch Martinez on Vimeo. It's all free to download. So that is in the description below. Uh, this was Matt from Mount MoGraph. Thanks a lot for checking out the channel and I'll have some more videos up soon. Peace.